12 acts in Romania, but just one winner. Are you guys ready? Let's, Let's do, do this! this. You guys, TVR has revealed the 12 songs, so it is time to go around and reveal our personal top three, starting with Denise. Yeah, my third is Mihai with Paradiso. Still in love with his 2006 song, so I don't know. I just love Mihai because of that, and I couldn't wait to hear this song. Um, I have to say, for now, it is not as good as uh, Tornero, but a live performance may change this because Tornero, I I absolutely love it, but the live performance made it way better. Um, when he's singing live, it's so good. I mean, we all know that his voice is incredible. And especially in this song, he has that really long uh, and high notes. And we all know he can deliver. So I can't wait to hear that live. And maybe then it would be my second or my first favorite. But for now, the third is good enough. <laughs> okay, well, first off, based on this selection, I think Romania might be battling for my number 43 spot when the whole thing comes to a conclusion. But, so, yeah, so I'm saying that my number three song, I like, I don't like any of these songs, but my number three would be Vanatech <laughs> featuring The Code and Georgian, I'm Coming Home. Ooh, I'm coming home. And it's a nice little song, it goes along its merry way, he's coming home, he's telling us that he's coming home about maybe 50 times or whatever. Um, it's verging on anthemic, it's not good enough to be anthemic, but it ties in nicely with the come together hashtag. So yeah, he sings nicely, and he sings nicely, which is a lot in this selection. Um, there's a lot of the songs where I just have to rip out the earphones. So, yeah, he's my number three. My number three is a song that I don't think either of you will end up choosing. It is Brand New Day from Hayley Evitz. Now, there is vintage and retro, and then there is dated. And this is kind of both, but I think it's leaning towards retro rather than dated. It has that very 1980s feel. I mean, this sounds exactly like what it, Electric Light Orchestra's Mr. Blue Sky, which taps into the same vintage sound. It sounds like Pulp's Disco 2000. I mean, this is just very vintage. Um, you could hear it in like an episode of EastEnders or Coronation Street, you know, those UK soap operas, like a vintage episode you watch in the <laughs> 80s, like not today. But I really like that. I think it, it it gives you a sense of time and place. It's a bit repetitive, um, but unlike the other songs where I'm just like, give me a point of view, give me something, this at least, it takes something and runs with it. And I think they did a good job developing that feel. Both of you look like you're gonna pass out. <laughs> it is a brand new day for me, clearly not for you. <laughs> I genuinely think it's the worst in this selection. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. It's, like, really you know it's, it's retro and it makes me want to retch. It's just, Awful and well, it, it, it's not, there's no modernity. It's as if the last 25 years never happened. Well, one of us was born in the 80s. I'm not gonna say who. All right, Denise, <laughs> number two. Yeah. Uh, my number two is Sun Attack featuring the code and Georgian. I'm coming home. Um, it feels really modern for me, um, Porek already said that he's saying coming home, coming home all the time, um, but for me it's not getting annoying, I do like the parts where he's singing, I prefer them over just the instrumental parts, unfortunately there are more instrumental parts than singing parts, but overall um, with his good voice and the vibe he's giving and it feels really modern, I. I do like it, and 
I can't wait to see if... Um, well, sometimes when there is an instru uh, instrumental part, it gets really boring on stage. You just see the person and they're like, ah, okay, what do I have to do? I don't have to sing now. So, I, yeah, I really want to see how that will work out. My number two is Florina with Behind the Shadows. It's a nice ballad, it's fairly typical Eurovision National Final Fair. We've heard them in Lithuania, we've heard them in Latvia, we've heard them everywhere basically. And it builds nicely, there's kind of a dark edge to it, there's a little bit of drama. It could do with upping the ante a little, um, because it does get rather monotonous as the song goes along. It doesn't progress hugely, but she sings it nicely and I wouldn't be completely sad at this end this. My number two is Mihai with Paradiso. Paradiso coming from the stars. As Denise says, he's an amazing live performer. Tornero, when you watch that on YouTube, the vocal gymnastics, it's amazing. You're just like, wow. Um, I think there was a lot of hype and expectation surrounding Paradiso, and the video kind of let us all down. So I'm trying to block that out and not think of like all the hearts in outer space um, and the aliens. And when I do that, this is all right. Um, I love when he does the hoo 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 You know that thing, <laughs> that hoo hoo thing he does. Um, the, it's got an interesting tempo, because this is clearly inspired like electronic dance music but it's slower and so you can't really dance to it it's more like you can bob your head but you can't really uh, uh, uh. but i'm fine with it um is this the eurovision winner no is it great for romania absolutely i think it would go to the final i think it's a bit more interesting and daring than some of the other songs and i, I mean that because because so many songs this year are trying to be modern sia whereas he is just I don't know, playing to, in a way, old school Romania, but slightly updated, if that makes sense. Like, you wouldn't hear this in the top 40 in, I don't know, the UK. But, yeah, good effort. It is time for our number one pick for Romania's Selectia Nacionala, Denise. Oh, I'm so in love with this song. It's Andra. I keep singing it, it's like na 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 Oh, it's so good. I'm just a sucker for songs like this. And especially with the Romanian lyrics, it's making it more a tropical paradise for me. And I love the flutes and all those foreign sounds. And first I thought that Doinida from uh, Moldova was entering in uh, Romania with this song. It really sounds like her. But it's so good. It's Shakira in, and a little bit Salilale for me. Um, and I saw that a lot of Romanian people don't like this and looking at all the tops on YouTube There are a lot of people who put this in their top three, but for me, it's so catchy and I I was playing it this morning with, when my uh, mother was sitting down, downstairs and she was like, Denise, oh, I like this song. Which country is this? So <laughs> also uh, moms and dads can like this song. So it's not just like that I'm dancing on this, but she likes it too. So no, it's, it's really catchy for me. And yeah, I will play this in the summer all the time. <laughs> my number one is I was going to say Blue Baba Dee Baba Da, but it's Paradiso by <laughs> Mihai. <laughs> yeah, and it's... I don't know why it's my number one. It stands out. It's the only song that, after first listen, it's in my head. I don't think it's as bad as what people are saying, because when it first came out, there was like a whole raft of people saying, this is awful, it's the worst thing ever, blah. But at the same time, it's not good. It, it is not a good song. <laughs> because it's like that Eiffel 65, and that song came out in, mm -hmm. was it 98 or 97? Something back then. And back then it was a huge hit, and people were like, oh wow, aliens in a spaceship, we've never seen that before. We've moved on. Um, it is a lot weaker than Tornero. Um, 
and that song is 10 years old. So you think you should be better now and that he should have progressed musically. And there's all this hype, but at the same time, it's all coming from him. He's the source of this hype. He's all his press releases. He's released like 10 different versions. If you follow him, subscribe to his channel on YouTube, he's had a ringtone version. He's had a karaoke version. He's had, I don't know what other kind of version. Yeah. He probably will win because he has the mm -hmm. name, his song stands out. But at your vision, if this was in Romania and they didn't have the reputation, this would flop so hard. I kind of love all the self-love he has, because the first love is self-love, y'all. To quote RuPaul, if you don't love it yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? I love that he is promoting himself, pushing himself. You know, it's swagger, it's attitude, it's very Eurovision, it's just drama over the top. Good for him. Now, my number one, I am Team Denise. It is Andra with Nai Nai. This is trashy, it's cheap, it's dated, and I absolutely love it. <laughs> it's perfect. It has a strong Romanian identity. Like, if you heard this, you would probably guess Romania or Moldova. And not just because of the language, because of the sound. That There's something about it that's wild, it's crazy. It's so out there, and she's just owning it. She's like, yeah, you know, this is what I like. Um, this reminds me, again, of pre-jury Eurovision where people weren't afraid to do what they want, to be wacky and crazy. Like now everyone is obsessed with becoming a radio hit so things can get a little sterile. Uh, but this is old school Eurovision. Girls let their hair down, hike up the shorts. We are seeing it all. The bridge is quite good. I just wish it was a little earlier because I do about a minute, 30, two minutes, get a little bored. But then the bridge comes in and saves the day and I'm like feeling it again. But I think this would be a great song to send to Eurovision. It'd be memorable. And some people, like, say in Britain, would laugh at this, but then they would vote for it. Um, whereas some of the songs, people would be like, oh, that's okay, but they're going to forget it. Whereas this is so wacky, they might go for it. What's your Romania top 12? You can let us know here on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Wee Blogs. See you later. Bye. Bye. I don't remember. <laughs>